<laughs> That's a hammer. Dude. That is a hammer. <laughs> So before we get into the action, I wanted to show you guys the boat we are going out on today. This is a 25 foot Amimsa high side Panga. It is fully decked out. It has a custom mounted trolling motor on the bow. It has a center console, hydraulic steering, fully custom T-top and all the controls. Leaning post, seating in the back. And this boat is outfitted with a 140 horse Suzuki motor with a three blade prop. It's getting up to 41 to 42 miles an hour and four miles a gallon, fully loaded down. And at cruising speeds, it's getting six to seven miles a gallon in glass calm conditions. Just thought I'd share that with you guys since a lot of y'all are interested in these boats as am I. Disclaimer, this is not my boat. I was invited by one of the patrons of the channel, Russell. He got this boat bare bones and completely rigged it out himself. And with that said, I will be giving you guys an update on my boat after we get done fishing. Ooh, it is chilly. I have a simple circle hook, 30 pound leader, leading up to swivel with a 10 ounce egg sinker on 80 pound mono just because this, this weight can chafe that line up. And we're putting on live finger mullet, hooking them right through. nose without going through the brain and killing them just like that the friskier the better whenever you drop them in you can actually see that mullet swim around that's really good catches those big snappers attention a lot quicker than a dead bait Not really, no wonder why I didn't have it locked all the way forward. Now that rod's been, I know, bit. I was like, that's better. I hope it's a red snapper. I hope so too. We're getting sharp. <clears throat> oh, yeah, wait, that's pulling like that, dude. Yeah. You got a snapper, huh? You got a snapper. <laughs> oh, yes. It's slow, but you know, they're there. That's what state water fishing <laughs> is like. It's a, I'm telling you, these donks, they fight. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Big red. Dude. That's a hammer. Dude. That is a hammer. <laughs> That is what it's all about, fishing state water. Oh my gosh. Well, there you go. You got a slab of meat, a couple of flays. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, everybody, welcome back. We are out here, back on Russell's Panga, 25 BA, while mine's still in the shop, doing some state water fishing. It's about that time of the year when things get pretty slow farther out offshore and it's when we do near shore fishing for big giant red snapper. Check this thing out. Absolute stud. That's a hammer. Good job. <laughs> Hit it like a freight train, huh? Yeah.
Yep, yep. Come on, take it. No! Oh. He's coming for it. Come on. Come on, come eat it. You got one too? I'm hooked up. I think we were tangled though. He might be tangled. I got rocked up. You got a fish though. Okay. Oh, I just came out. You're just gone? Okay, I got a fish now. Okay, I got a fish. All right, we got a nice one. I felt, I feel like I felt you. Maybe I'll wrap around it. Or maybe we have both. There we go. Guess we just need to keep our baits fresh. That's coming up. 10 feet. Look at that. Look what we got. You're not going to believe it. Oh man! Look at that! Mangrove snapper on the live mullet. Let's secure him. Get a better hold on him. What were you saying earlier? You want to get a mangrove snapper? There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. We got a nice red snapper in the box. I finally got my first hookup. Nice mangrove. Good eater. I think you're gonna have a nice dinner tonight. Toad. They do, they do eat baits. They don't just have to be shot. <laughs> yeah. I was using a 30 pound. I actually got in the structure pretty good, but I had an 80 pound leader and then I had a 30 pound tippet so that mangrove couldn't see that leader. And we got him. <clears throat> In the box with the big red. Nice. Yeah. Fish on. Little guy. Oh, put him in. Let's go. There you go. Sweet. Mangrove snapper. That's a good ceviche size right there. Nice. Quick boat update, I thought it was fitting to have an update on my panga after we went out fishing on a panga. So this is the low side edition and what we're doing right now is actually laying a new layer of glass just to tie everything together and make the boat look more uniform than it was previously. This has a flower water binder that holds these strands together. What happens is the resin melts them and lets them move into place. So that pretty much just seals it all together and makes oh, it one. Yeah. And it, what it does, yeah. It grabs everything and plus all of the bigger holes and stuff and the, the rips and the tears. What I did was I used stuff called, we call it Cavasil. It's an aerosol, it's a silica balloon and it, you mix it with uh, the resin and it makes a putty and I'll show you some here in a minute. And I pack it with it first since it's with fiberglass it fills the voids and makes it lay, the glass lay a lot nicer on it. It's looking better already. And I'm just going to go to here and then I'll do all of this in a little while with smaller pieces. But right now I want to get all this. I want it all to tie in. That way I don't have to sand it. That's why I'm trying to hurry. So uh, I can get the pieces on. So here Keith is getting that new sheet of glass to be laid over the deck. He finished doing the gunnels, pre-cut the glass, is getting it fitted to the bow. And check out the process of him rolling this deck out, sealing that new layer of glass over the bow.
I've never seen this done before in person, so to watch it was really cool, and I figured you guys might be interested in watching it as well. As you can see, everything came together very nicely. The boat looks super uniform, and I'm starting to see how good this boat is going to look when it's done.